Hi there, this is Stephen Hewer with Synergistic Nutrition. Today I wanted to share with you a little bit of my personal journey. Um, becoming a nutritionist was um, an obligation if I wanted to be well. Um, it started when, well, prior to being a teenager, um, I'd just say that my childhood was enjoyable. I had a fun time. Um, you know, the, the food that I grew up on, high in sugar, led to a few cavities. I had a few fillings put in my mouth <clears throat> so that by age 15 I had uh, seven fillings. And there were two more cavities had that had formed that I was scheduled to see a dentist for. So I was about 15 and a half, I think it was about May of 1976, in which I had two teeth drilled in one day and two large mercury fillings put into the teeth. And I got a sore throat like right that as I'm exiting the, do the dentist's office, I'm feeling the beginnings of the sore throat. The next day the sore throat was full on, flaming, irritating, and it stayed that way. For day after day after day, it didn't clear the normal, you know, normal cold flu, sore throat, three days, typically it goes away and it's getting better, and it wasn't. So my mom took me to the doctor and they uh, put me on antibiotics. So I was on antibiotics for the normal 10 day round, and the sore throat was still there pretty heavily. So I was put on another 10 day round of antibiotics. So at the end of this 20 day period, um, all of a sudden my intestinal health, like my transit time and my normal elimination shut down. I no longer was having bowel movements. I mean, <clears throat> the normal full ones. So all of a sudden I went from being normal to being like what's called constipation. I didn't, never even experienced that in my entire life. And um, this got really serious. It was like, so little was exiting out of my bowels in one day that uh, I had to not eat as much. I so, because I always felt so full and so bloated and toxic. It was a miserable experience. <clears throat> Wouldn't wish it on anyone. Um, definitely depressed. And um, so, you know, 15 and a half years of age, going on 16, this is puberty. And so this, the, the normal confidence that was there prior, like I had a lot of athleticism, so I was really, you know, good at that. And playing baseball and football and, um, you know, swimming and things. <clears throat> so I all of a sudden went from being confident to not being confident and, um, and feeling very self-conscious because I was always feeling so full, so bloated, so toxic, all this energy and tension down in my abdomen. And this nightmare journey that began then took me a long time to figure out. So that the process of, you could say, evolving into a healthcare professional, um, you know, was fraught with major degrees of uh, sadness, frustration, depression, um, difficulty learning. Uh, school was always difficult um, for me. Learning was always difficult for me. I mean, it's like, uh, it's like I enjoyed playing, like all through grades, um, kindergarten to six, you know, I just remember recess. <laughs> I just remember wanting to play. And um, anyways, I just remember taking longer to complete tests. So, you know, the diet that I was on wasn't good. You couldn't really have good focus on the kind of foods and high sugar that I was uh, consuming. So my learning um, through sc in school was always compromised. So, I mean, I, I did my best. When I got into, co into uh, high school, I really wanted to, you know, get the best grades possible. And my goal was to try and get straight A's. So, you know, ninth grade, 10th grade, it was like A's and B's, some C's, or one C, I think, but A's and B's. But I had, to, I had to make extra effort to learn compared to other um, peers, you know, that I, I just remember some of them were, you know, they, they didn't even have to read the book. They just remember what was in class and they just remember everything effortlessly and aced the, the, the tests all the time. For me, I had to study uh, and I had to study and go back over the information. So learning in general was uh, difficult, but I, I made an effort. So, you know, I, I learned. Um, so uh, <clears throat> this is 10th grade in which these feelings are put in, in which I has to start to experience this constipation, this toxicity, and I'm struggling. So um, I, I limit my food intake, I'm eating less. <clears throat> and at the time I was studying, uh, my brother had become a uh, Seventh-day Adventist Christian, fundamentalist Christian. So the Seventh-day Adventist teachings taught that they believed that your diet had something to do with your spirituality and your connection to God. <clears throat> and so they were taught to eat a vegetarian diet and with, they would allow um, some milk in the diet. Um, and so I was so you know, impressed by my brother's transformation because previously he never paid attention to me. 
and all of a sudden he was being an older brother and caring about me, his younger brother. And because I got that attention that I never got, um, I felt like, wow, I, I want to do what he's doing. So I became a Seventh-day Adventist. I really got into it. I studied all the LNG White books. Um, not all of them, but quite a few of them, and uh, went through the Bible, you know, backwards and forwards, and from, you know, Genesis all the way to Revelation. Uh, we really wanted to know well and master, you know, the subject and be as close to God as possible, um, you know, as close to Jesus as possible. And uh, so for four years I'm being a vegetarian, but it's not correcting the elimination. I'm just, you know, uh, less toxic because, you know, when you're not exiting properly, if you have animal proteins in your digestive tract, the toxicity of that, that sticking around and not moving out quickly, it's not, not good for you. You don't feel good. So it was a better diet, less toxic to my body to be vegetarian. But this is also puberty, also developmental years. So I'm experiencing, you know, tapping into my reserves, tapping into my adrenals because I couldn't, I didn't eat enough and I wasn't getting enough protein. So I got skinnier and, and uh, you know, just, you know, pushed myself uh, always on the, the energy of just my adrenals. Um, did that for four years, you know, still riding bikes, still doing all this physical stuff. You know, I had to ride a bike to school every day. It was a pretty good distance. Um, so, and, you know, still, you know, exercising. So this pushing myself and not eating uh, enough protein or enough fats led to adrenal exhaustion. So I was going to this Seventh-day Adventist college um, in my, when I was 20, and uh, about six months into going to the school, um, you know, I was pushing myself like I did before and just, you know, hardly eating anything. And the school was teaching the Nathan Pritikin diet program because the school was both a sanitarium for people with cardiovascular and uh, pulmonary uh, diseases. And they believed that if you ate a, a fat-free, oil-free diet and just the little bits of oil occurring in, uh, you know, your peanut butter or whatever was the only fats you got, that was conducive to cleaning out your body's arterial plaque. Um, so the diet at the school was that way, you know, cafeteria food and... Um, Anyways, it ended up that I was had no fat in the diet, you know, no olive oil, no nothing, and this really lean, you know, uh, hardly any food. I mean, I'd eat, eat like maybe a yam in one day with maybe a piece of broccoli, steamed broccoli, and some fruit, and that'd be it for the whole day. And maybe some granola. You know, six months of this, plus you're going to class every day, you're then com coming home to your dorm, and you're doing all your homework, and, you know, a pretty stressful life. And then also you're studying to do things, so I studied to be like a minister and uh, to... Um, um, basically give a sermon. So did a couple of those when I was at the school. Anyways, a lot of energy expenditure that, that wasn't being compensated for by my diet. So I woke up one morning feeling like I was half dead, literally. Like I'd lost 50% of my life force. All my motivation to study was gone. I had zero interest. I had zero mental capacity. I felt like I was unplugged. <clears throat> I had to retreat from school, go back to live home with mom. Um, Anyways, that was a um, very unpleasant journey, very unpleasant experience. <clears throat> and uh, eventually, of course, um, you know, I, I left that particular belief system because I didn't, uh, you know, I learned things that basically I couldn't find a resolution for that made me go, oh, this is contradictory, I have to, have to leave. I sort of realized that um, it was more about one's integrity, one's uh, purity, one's, um, you know, basically living in compliance with natural law. Uh, one's spirituality that was the real path that I was seeking and that's what I pursued afterwards. <clears throat> so come along, this is my early 20s, <clears throat> I was working for a construction worker when I got bakes back from uh, the school and uh, you know I needed a job, I was still suffering from this intense fatigue so I knew somebody in the church that was a construction worker, I got a job <clears throat> and I had so little energy every day that I would literally nap or take a rest at lunch. I wouldn't even eat. I just, you know, same problem with the digestion, don't want to eat. <clears throat> so um, one day, you know, basically, you know, cutting two by fours and there's a process of what's called ripping a two by four, which is going to, you know, not across the grain, but against, um, like against the grain. So if a two by, two by four is like that long, you're going this way into the two by four as opposed to like cross cutting it. And, um, you know, I didn't have much energy. So I'm, I'm basically, pushing this saw, doing a rip uh, that, that, you know, I shouldn't have done, I wasn't experienced enough, and the saw kicked back and cut through my left thumb. So I have this thumb that's all bent and twisted because basically it was dangling by the skin here and surgically it was put back on, but I lost uh, my tendon and my ability to bend it and it's deformed, but, you know, at least I still have it. So I can still type with it, tie shoelaces, things like that. But um, just another, you know, consequence of not having the vitality and the energy from being healthy is this, you know, injury.
So the benefit of this injury was that I got to be on workman's compensation. So back then, at that time, I think it was 1980-81, you know, that's like $240 a month, which was, you know, back then pretty good if you didn't have rent to pay or anything. So <clears throat> I used that money to do a 10-day fast, which was carrot juice and grape juice. So I read this book by a Seventh Adventist who authored a book that said this basic 10-day juice fast where you take you know, intestinal bulking and cleansing agents, which was liquid clay, Sony's bentonite clay, along with um, the Sony's psyllium. And so you mix the psyllium in with um, some of the carrot juice or grape juice. <clears throat> and um, then you add your one tablespoon of bentonite clay per 50 pounds of body weight. And you drink that three times a day, along with some beet juice tablets and some wheatgrass juice tablets. And uh, I did that for 10 days. And so I lost weight and stuff, but all this Fecal matter came out of my intestines. All this, it was actually like tire rubber. So from days five through eight, all this fecal matter comes out. All this tire rubber type hardened material comes out. I feel reborn. All, right then I felt just really good and, and, and like, wow, I feel lighter. I feel so much better. You know, all the toxicity had gone. So now my bloodstream was pure and now my oxygen was carrying to my brain. You know, you just feel way better. <clears throat> and so at the end of that 10 day uh, juice fast, I felt just like doors open up in my mind. Like I just felt you know, understanding and clarity that I never had before, and a love, a love for people, a love for life, a happiness that you know, was like when you're a kid, and that I hadn't experienced in a long time. So you could say that experience left an indelible mark on my consciousness, that diet, purity of the body were, in, you know, in, incredibly essential to happiness, quality of life, to feeling connected to, to God and to love. So <clears throat> anyways, from that point on, I continued to uh, eat a pure diet. I got on raw vegan vegetarian diet, I went down to the um, Hippocrates Health Institute in Lemon Grove, California. Um, I think it was called something else other than that. Um, anyways, I, I lived there for I think about a month and did their diet, which was you no know, nut seed cheeses with wheatgrass juice. In the morning you do watermelon. It's a very cleansing diet. You do eat wheatgrass enemas or wheatgrass uh, implants and stuff. So you're really, you know, just purifying as maximally as possible. <clears throat> and um, you know, continued to experience this slow transit time, the tendency to feel very full. I no longer felt toxic, but I felt very full, always constipated. Things, even though it was pure and stuff, things were still moving through very slow. So, you know, I continued to be in that same predicament, but less, less uh, problematic because I wasn't as toxic. And um, that diet, you know, basically, um, you know, didn't really work. So I ended up <clears throat> going back to eating some chicken, cooked chicken, and it was like, you know, I put on all this muscle. It's like I went from 110 pounds to 135 pounds in probably six weeks. <clears throat> so I knew that the meat was an essential part of my diet and continued to do that off and on. But, you know, cooked meat ended up always being a burden. So there was a negative consequence as well. So over the years, it was a mixture of being vegetarian, fasting, eating some animal proteins and going back and forth. So I do this fasting, you know, once a year, typically for the seven to 10 days. Always made me feel better. <clears throat> Always made me feel like more reborn, more happy to be alive, but still wasn't fixing the intestinal health. So time progresses and it's now uh, 1987. Yeah, 1987. I'm shopping at Lassen's Health Food Store in um, Thousand Oaks, California. That's where I lived. Um, I ended up being in the checkout line and I see this, this container. It's a really cool label. It's like black with reflective red lines. It's, it says Super Sports. It's got these packets in it uh, with, you know, three capsules of free-form amino acids, a couple of capsules of multivitamin mineral, and one capsule or two capsules of B-complex. And so, hmm, you know, I'm thinking about this. I says, you know, I've been thin all my life. I have probably have malabsorption problems. I can never put on muscle weight. I always wanted to gain muscle, but never could. So I buy one of these packets, take them, you know, and I'm on my way to an aerobics class, basically to go work out at the gym. And um, I'd say about 40 minutes had passed by the time I took the capsules, swallowed them down with water, and had gotten to the gym and started the class. Now, normally the aerobics class is, you know, uh, it's like a dance class routine where, you know, the, the ladies, you know, doing all these moves and going back and forth and down and up. And, you, you know, you got to keep up. That's your goal is to keep up. And if you've taken the class before with the instructor multiple times, you learn the routine so that you can keep up and follow all the moves. Um, but this was the first time I was taking this class, never knew the routine, and yet all of a sudden this energy came surging through my body, this strength, this coordination, this clarity, this, this positive mood, like I had chi and power. 
And all of a sudden I was like moving as fast as she was moving and I was keeping up with her even though I had never done her class. So I was just blown away. I did the whole class feeling this phenomenal energy and afterwards the energy just stayed with me like ongoing, this cheerful, positive mood, confidence, I can do anything type thinking. And I'm going, holy moly, these, these, these amino acids are like doing something that I've never experienced. I have to check them out. And those effects that I was experiencing just from that one product, Super Sports, for that one dosage was like, lasted like six hours. And then, um, so I, I checked out all the products. There was one called All Basic Plus, another one called Super Sports, another one called, uh, well, they had the basically coenzymatic B vitamins. And so I uh, experimented with all, all of them. Um, and I experienced it when I took the All Basic Plus product that not only did I have this mental clarity and cognitive sharpness that I could study and for like eight hours straight and, and write essays and, and you know get A's on my tests that I was doing with this correspondence course I was taking for, for nutrition, but also my sex drive went off the charts. I'd never experienced this before. I mean, you know, my mom, being born from a mother that, that smoked and drank while I was in the womb and didn't breastfeed you, didn't breastfeed me, you know, I didn't get good GI tract development. I didn't get good organ system development because your blood supply is cut off every time she smokes. Plus your brain is being bathed in alcohol every time she drinks so you're getting a pickled brain, you know, a diminished mental capacity. But anyways, I experienced, um, you know, a low sex drive for my adrenal exhaustion. So, you know, even though I was young, I still... <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> when I was with Monique and stuff, it's like I didn't want sex more than twice a week, otherwise I'd feel tired. I'd feel drained. I'd feel depressed. Even though I was that young. Crazy, I know. But um, <clears throat> that's the kind of cards I was dealt for this particular embodiment, this particular lifetime. For whatever reason, that's my karma. So, um, you know, all of a sudden I'm experiencing a, a sex drive and a sexual energy and desire this I've never experienced before. It's like just off the charts. Anyways, I end up uh, attracting this beautiful lady into my life and uh, we get together and best sex of my life I've ever had. And all of a sudden I'm experiencing the desire to do it two and three times a day. Like like three days, three days a week I could do two or three times a day. Okay, that's never happened before. Okay, that's never happened before and um, you know, it was amazing sex. I mean, the lady that I was with, you know, I was in love with her. She was wonderful. I mean, the Kundalini awakened because um, we were so like energetically enjoying each other. Um, had this psychic experience. It was just phenomenal. You know, saying all that to basically say that uh, I discovered the power of amino acids to augment my life, improve my quality of life, give me a level of confidence and physical athleticism that I hadn't in, had in years, um, and restore, uh, give me a sex drive I never had. So that I was able to go through information and study like I'd never studied before. Learning became so fun because I was like not only enjoying it and not only was it easy and not only did I go quickly but I could cross-reference information from here to here and here and all of a sudden come up with a, a synthesis of thought that made me have a revel all kinds of revelations all kinds of ideas inventions you know way back before it was ever invented I thought of having the sunrise alarm clock you know an actual clock that woke you up through light so that you know you gradually produce the proper neurochemicals for waking you um, as opposed to an alarm clock that's just an annoying sound that wakes you up. And I, admit, I thought of that before it was ever even invent, invented. And, um, you know, other things just kept rapid fire. Inventions kept coming to my mind. And, um, you know, this, this knowledge is power. You know, you want to, you know, you can, you can then understand what's like the U.S. history. I wanted to understand the U.S. history, government, law, all that stuff, so that you realize how you can fix the system that we currently have. Just a bunch of wonderful experiences, all as a result of proper chemistry. You know, you could say I had an improper deficient chemistry prior to taking these amino acids. I share all that with you so that you can basically uh, take advantage of my experience because, you know, you're here to experience as high a quality of life as, as possible. And I think you would agree that in order to do that, you have to have optimal physical and mental energy. You have to be able to sleep well every night. You have to recover your energy every day. You have to have the vitality every day so that it's a joy to work. Whoever you're working for, you have the energy to be a significant contribution. You don't need coffee to start your day, which just burns you out. I mean, <clears throat> I don't understand why people consume coffee when we know it's a stimulant. Even if you put butter in it or MCT oils like a lot of people are doing nowadays, you're still stimulating the body. Stimulation leads to depletion. When you can actually take amino acids, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to have more, 
what's called catecholamines in your brain when you consume coffee because coffee stimulates the adrenals to produce <clears throat> epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Those are excitatory neurotransmitters that give you focus, to suppress and diminish your appetite, enable you to utilize sugar for energy quickly. And so, you know, great, wonderful experience, but it's a price being paid when you do coffee. And if you do nutrients such as amino acids, then you can introduce the phenylalanine, the amino acid needed to convert into and make the epinephrine, norepinephrine, and dopamine. No depletion here, just a rise in energy, just a nourishment to the body, to the adrenals, to the nervous system. So, you know, you want to experience fulfilling all your dreams, you want to experience why you're here, then you need to love yourself enough, and you need to love yourself enough to learn what's needed to nourish the body, not stimulate the body. To, uh, like, and even with alcohol, you know, it's socially accepted for people to drink. Why would you want to consume something that's going to dehydrate your cells and kill them? And if enough of it's consumed, dehydrate your brain cells and kill them, diminish your brain cells. I mean, I just don't get it. I get where older generations, that's all they had. Great, and yes, there's some antioxidants like resveratrol and red wine and things like that. So there's some therapeutic values. And you know, if you're really healthy, really got enough alcohol dehydrogenase produced by your liver, then yeah, you can detoxify the alcohol readily and perhaps not experience any negative consequences. But in our day and age, with the degree of um, you know, poor genetics that so many of us are born with, the degree of pollution, the degree of GMOs, glyphosate exposure that the body's had, the degree of drug usage in the past, like you know, whether it's prescription or recreational, you know, uh, destruction of the GI tract from taking antibiotics somewhere in your past, you wiped out all these species, so you no longer digest food properly or produce all the different antibiotics from the, or the vitamins produced by the beneficial bacteria, you know, the EMF pollution, smart meters, G5, uh, you know, you know uh, cell towers, um, uh, you know, this is the microwave signals that are disrupting our bodies. I just went into a vitamin store the other day and I immediately got a headache. And I know that's because their smart meter signal was so strong at that time that I got a, a shot of it and it hurt my brain and my body. So, you know, I am trying to inspire you to love yourself enough to take the nutrients over and above your diet <clears throat> because as you're older, your body does not break down protein as fast as it used to into amino acids. And secondly, you don't have the hormones you used to have if you're older like me. You know, I'll, at the end of this year, in November, I'll be 58. <clears throat> so I don't produce the growth hormone, testosterone, insulin, things I used to produce that enables me to absorb my amino acids into my cells as efficiently. So the consequence of that is the amino acids pee out of the body without ever being used. So whether you're 25 or 85, Amino acids can play a role in improving your quality of life. 25, you still got the testosterone, the estrogen, the insulin, the growth hormone, and high enough levels that you're going to absorb amino acids much more readily. So that rather than relying on your diet, you take supplemental free forms, all of a sudden you get, you know, an increase in your cognitive abilities by, you know, 50 or 60 or 100% better. So you can, you can complete your, you know, s studies in school if you're still in school, you know, in half the time with more creativity. Get your homework done in half the time, produce stellar, you know, uh, you know, written material, whatever that may be, you know, remember your, uh, you know, tests so that you score, you know, you ace your tests, all because you've upped the level of neurotransmitters and neurohormones in your nervous system and in your body. So you end up having more functionality, more productivity when you're younger. You're older, you produce less hormones and stuff, and you have less absorption of the amino acids, so you need to support that. You need to take the, a growth hormone boosting supplement that raises your growth hormone levels so that you have more absorption because growth hormone literally like every cell of the body has a receptor site for it that, that just goes to show you how important it is and its role as when it docks onto the receptor site is to awaken the cell to open up and absorb amino acids that therefore there's a controlling mechanism amino acids just don't readily go into the cell they, they might a little bit through exercise through osmosis if you if you exercise hard but you know when you're older you don't have that usual energy to exercise as hard as you used to so you need your hormones. And when you boost growth hormone, you not only boost it, but you boost, boost your testosterone, you boost your estrogen to a more youthful level. So a woman's uh, reproductive health is better, a men's reproductive health is better. So, and you know, for years I've worked with a product that's just the best on the market that, you know, still has yet to receive the, the, the degree of attention that it deserves to uh, receive. And that's called Synergy One, right here. I've spoken about it many times. This uh, peptide that uh, our body produces is in this bottle. You spray it into the mouth, three sprays at, at bedtime, hold it there 90 seconds, let it absorb, do the same thing in the morning. 
you end up increasing your IGF-1 level. So we've actually tested this on 48 to 52 year old um, individuals and over the course of six months their IGF-1 levels increased from 100, up to 102 percent on average for women and 109 percent on average for men. And that's, that's what growth hormone converts into. So it's a sequence of activating growth hormone releasing hormone that activates the pituitary to release growth hormone growth hormone is released into the body and shortly it's a shortly lived uh, molecule in the system before it converts or stimulates the body to produce IGF-1 and then IGF-1 does all these benefits grow back your discs your disc thickness grow back your cartilage in your joints help reverse osteoporosis help your thyroid and your adrenal function correctly so that so that your predominant energy organs adrenal and thyroid are doing their job you have the vitality every day and wonderful product. Also can help people with insomnia. This is consistently help people to sleep deeper, need less hours of sleep, but yet have more energy the next day. So I want to introduce you to some of the products that I've been carrying for years and that I recommend highly. Now over the years I've tried quite a few different free form amino acid supplements. Um, I've tried individuals and I've tried formulas and it's been my experience that working with the Montif um, products are the best. Okay so here you have the first one is Glucobalance. What's interesting is I, I've had insomnia problems for a number of years. So, some, you know, many times I go through the night, don't sleep at all, you know, just rest a little bit. Um, when I sleep, it's wonderful. And I've tried melatonin time and again, you know, different varieties, different brands. Even tried patches recently, which typically melatonin will work for me the first night I use it, but then after that, I don't feel anything and it gets less effective each night that I use it. But recently I discovered that when I take <clears throat> three capsules of glucobalance at dinner that I've been experiencing sleep. So what glucobalance is, is a spectrum of amino acids, free form amino acids, that are converted into glucose. They're called glucogenic amino acids. So what I've discovered is that my insomnia is connected to a low blood sugar throughout the night. And so the brain won't sleep when there's a lack of glucose or a lack of fuel for the brain. So if any of you out there suffer from the same problem that, you know, melatonin doesn't work for you but you got sleep problems, Consider glu glucobalance. Consider taking, you know, two to three capsules of this in the evening or at dinner. So perhaps I should take a little moment to first uh, define free form amino acids. Free form amino acids are amino acids that are created by bacteria. So they end up not being connected to another amino acid, which would make them a dipeptide, or three amino acids, which would be a tripeptide, or a string of amino acids called a polypeptide, or a protein. So a string of amino acids is called a protein. All the different uh, free form amino acids, there's actually about, there's actually 20 different amino acids in nature that make up 1,600 different uh, substances and proteins in the body. From your enzymes, to your neurotransmitters, to your basic glandular organ system tissue structures. You know, there's different structures and different arrangements of amino acids making up the different proteins. So free forms being separated and individual require no digestion. Because in nature, when you eat a protein, you eat your egg, you eat your cheese, you eat your beef, your chicken, your fish, your lamb, whatever. The body digests that and its final goal is to break it down into uh, peptides, di-tri-tri-peptides and also free form amino acids. So the body absorbs both free forms, di and tripeptides into the bloodstream to contribute to your positive nitrogen balance. So positive nitrogen balance means that you are in, a, for a window of time, you have enough amino acids in the bloodstream that your body is going to make new tissue. You're going to create all kinds of new cells make all the enzymes, make all the hormones, make all the proteins you need to make. When you're not in the positive nitrogen balance, then your body starts to dismantle tissue. It starts to use the liver as a fuel source and break it down and get the amino acids from it. So you end up being deficient for a temporary period of time in between meals and your body's going to, you know, eat up all of its reserves before it goes into the tissues of the body. So like if you're a vegetarian, you know, it's common that people lack the digestive integrity to break nuts, grains, legumes, down into their amino acids uh, in high enough concentrations that a person is in a positive nitrogen balance often enough as a vegetarian that they are thriving. Actually vegetarians can be tend to not thrive in my experience. Um, there are exceptions. There are some people that have really good digestive health. They break enough proteins down into amino acids from vegetarian sources and they're doing well. But they're the exception. So you know if you're trying to be a vegetarian and you're philosophically not wanting to take the life of an animal and so you're doing it philosophically rather than just for health you know realize that if you're not thriving on that diet that you are not biologically uh, designed to thrive on the vegetarian diet and you should 
uh, abandon your um, beliefs um, to, uh, you know, not judge yourself about it and, you know, eat what's going to make your body thrive because, you know, ultimately uh, you're a child of this amazing infinite creator God that um, loves you infinitely without judgment and just wants you to experience fulfillment and uh, wisdom, learning and, and, and life. Free form amino acids are needed in the body to make up for the slow rate at which we break them down. So with all these stressors that I mentioned, you burn up amino acids faster than you can get at them from proteins. So taking free forms can augment that so that you have productive energy all day long, even at night. It's common for you to go to work, do your thing, uh, work 8, 14 hours a day, come home, be burnt out, and just want to, you know, chill out. So you might want to just be entertained, whether that's music, whether that's TV. You end up not having the mental and physical energy to pursue your personal hobbies, life passions, things like that. It's very common and very possible that if you take the amino acids, say in the afternoon, 2, 4 p.m., either all basic or super sports, that you'll come home with so much energy that you might want to exercise or that you all of a sudden, you know, want to crack open that book and finish reading it or all of a sudden you want to pursue your carpentry hobby or you want to learn or you want to continue to learn, say, the foreign language you've been wanting to learn. Um, you know, there's all these things that you want to do but don't have the mental and physical energy necessarily at the end of the day or on weekends and all of a sudden you do. So I invite you to consider that you're only burning your candle um, so bright and you can burn it much brighter. But yet, because you're refueling the wax in your candle with the proper nutrients, you know, you're not actually tapping into your reserves. So the second product I want to introduce you to is called All Basic. All Basic uh, combination of amino acids will support the even blood sugar, the mental clarity, the immunity, the tissue repair of the body, um, liver health, all these things which are in the report. So if you take time to read the newsletter that I've sent out um, in an email, you'll see uh, the description of all the amino acids in each of these formulas and what they do. It's pretty, pretty interesting if you have any curiosity in that. So two to three capsules of this once to twice a day uh, is you know, going to help you to stay focused and get your job done in half the time potentially and not crave stimulants or sugar. The next product I want to introduce you to is called All Basic Plus. So this is the most powerful product for me uh, because it has some extra tryptophan in it. All Basic does not. All Basic Plus has tryptophan. That's the difference between the two. Tryptophan makes your body produce more serotonin, which is your calming, peaceful neurotransmitter. And so, you know, if you're like me, that tends to be, um, you could say, wiry, um, impatient, um, too much of the catecholamines and not enough of the serotonin, you know, taking this can calm you down so that you end up feeling very peaceful as you want to study the new subject, what you want to pursue. Whether you want to learn the piano or an instrument, whether you want to learn a language, whether you want to be a scientist, All Basic Plus can put the peace in your nervous system so that you have prolonged concentration, prolonged attention, prolonged focus, as well as supply the arginine and other nutrients that support the immune system, support the liver health and liver detoxification. Also, as I said before, <clears throat> this was the most strongest formula for me to increase my sexual energy. It was very powerful. The next product that I want to introduce you to is, is last but not least, is called Super Sports. This was the first product I took. This was the first product I took in 1987 that uh, launched me into this level of physical energy that I'd never experienced before. Um, so this one has higher levels of phenylalanine in it. Phenylalanine is the amino acid that the body needs to produce the catecholamines, the epinephrine, norepinephrine, dopamine, the excitatory neurohormones, neurochemicals that give you all kinds of physical and mental energy and also the drive, the desire to exercise. This is the product you want to take prior to exercise. So this is like, depending upon body size, it's like three to five caps, you know, average, smaller body size, whatever, 150 pounds or lower in weight, you know, three capsules is probably all you need. You start to get up to, you know, 175 or higher, you might need four, 200 or above, you might need five capsules. So you take this, the amount of capsules you need for your body, like, you know, 45 minutes prior to a workout with some carbohydrates. So a little bit of fruit juice is ideal. And it has a high level of what's called the branched chain amino acids. So that's valine, leucine, and isoleucine. And as I've said before, 35% of your muscle tissue is composed of those three amino acids. So those three amino acids, when taken in higher amounts, can very much help you put on muscle. This product also helps you suppress your appetite because phenylalanine is the amino acid that converts into what's called cholecystokinin, CCK. That is an appetite suppressant hormone 
that alleviates your craving completely and you don't even think about food. You know, isn't it nice when you like don't even think about food? It's just like you're just focused on whatever it is. I mean, with, with people that have blood sugar problems like myself, <clears throat> there's a tendency to think about food more than you like. So when you take something like super sports and you alleviate your cravings, you got stable blood sugar, you're just like focused on your whatever you're doing. You know, you're, you're, you're working out or you're walking or whatever you're engaged in. So super sports delivers all those benefits um, as well as the sexual energy too. It's got a, a kick there as well because we know that dopamine is the neurochemical that's um, produced when you're sexually aroused. So this is another one that supports your, you know, sexual energy. Last I want to introduce you to is triphosphate. So amino acids um, require vitamin B6 to be utilized. And B vitamins from food and B vitamins from many supplements are in their what's called inactive state. The body has to methylate B vitamins through five steps. The CH3 chemical called the methyl group or methyl donor is involved in converting the inactive B vitamin through five steps to its active state. Up to 50% of the population in a sick person is in what's called an undermethylator state. You don't couple and uncouple the chemical exchanges of the methyl group fast enough to produce enough B vitamins, enough neurochemicals, enough physical energy. So taking methylated B vitamins will enable you to bypass all that problem of not having enough B vitamins so you can end up benefiting from the amino acids on a much higher level. So this triphos B has vitamin B1, B2, and B6 in the what's called bioactive or coenzymatic state. B1 and B2, when they get in the cell, they're responsible for helping the cell produce energy. So it can be really dramatic. The first time I took this, I didn't know it would do that. I took it in the evening. I was up all night. I mean, I, and not, not just the insomniatic up, I had physical energy up, so I got things done. You know, I even you know, was doing push-ups and lifting weights and things like that. And then there's the bioactive B6 that's going to help you to produce more of those neurochemicals, neurohormones, and proteins in the body. Um, B6 also acts as a diuretic, so it can help with water retention. Um, so this is a super powerful product. And if you're saying, oh, I already take a B vitamin, I already take a B complex, or I'm getting my B vitamins from my food, think again because you might not actually be benefiting like you think you could. I've been taking coenzymatic active B vitamins previously, never felt these results. The reason was because this is enterically coated. Apparently when you take B vitamins, a good percentage of them get damaged by the stomach acids. And so the enteric coating will bypass the stomach. It won't break down in the stomach. It protects it from breaking down in the stomach so that it will only break down in the small intestine. So that when it breaks down in the small intestine, all those vitamins are in their active state, totally pristine, totally usable, they absorb into the bloodstream, into the cells, and all this, you know, all these mechanisms get turned on. It's pretty powerful. I thank you for your time and attention. I am Stephen Huer with Synergistic Nutrition. Um, we have, I believe, the best products under one roof that can revolutionize and improve the quality of your life. We love you, we thank you, and appreciate you, and thank you for your business, and please feel free to call us to ask us any of your questions. That one question can lead to you unlocking the doors to the quality of your life that you have always wanted. Thank you. Bye.